everybody, it's Audrey from the craftycardcupcake.blogspot.com and I want to show you um, a personal swap that I'm doing with Stephanie. She's Little Red Wagon Studio here on YouTube and her and I have been talking and she's a real sweetheart and we decided we would do an altered frame and candles kind of as a Christmas swap as well. And um, she likes vintage style and um, so this is what I came up with. So this is just a Michaels dollar wood frame and I didn't paint it. I actually used dark chocolate truffle Lindy Stamp Gang uh, stain dauber to paint it or you know color it. It was just raw wood. I did it all the way around. Then I did some cream halfback pearls around this edge. Bling bling. Those are bling. But Stephanie does like when you say bling bling. Bling bling. And then bling, bling. I bling, bling. used some of this uh, bling bling pleated box pleated cream trim plea, and plea. all plea, around. Bling bling. <laughs> and then I used some of this brown smaller box pleated trim satin all the way around. Layered it up. Some tiny tiny flat back pearls around there. Bling bling. Then around the frame you know, whole area. I did some of this organza trim. I think it's May Art, so I'm not sure. And then these um, pearls, these cream pearls are from Lena. Sweet Nothings Paper Co. So thanks, Lena. And I basically used a ton of Wild Orchid Crafts flowers. And, um... 2,000 pounds. No. <laughs> I used, um, these little closed roses. And I think these are the hip rosebuds. I think these are my new favorite to use. They're really nice to tuck in in little spaces. This is a Recollections flower, I think, but then the rest are all Wild Orchid Crafts. This is part of a spray from Recollections that I cut apart because the blue matched, but it was like a huge spray and it didn't go too well. And um, Stephanie loves Tim Holtz, so I put a little Believe. I do too, Stephanie. I <laughs> put a little Believe token there. And some more of that spray up here. Some of the, I love these blue color um, roses. I don't know the item numbers, I'm sorry. Um, and just the bigger, I think that's a trellis rose and a curly rose maybe. Some more of those um, rose buds in brown. I think it's a two-tone brown. I love that. And then I had this little th locket thing. It's not Tim Holtz, but this is a Tim Holtz key right here. Oh I put on. This is beautiful. not Tim Holtz, but I don't know. I just wanted to put it on there because it, I don't know. I just did. So and you, it's a working locket. I think it's from Michael's, their vin, uh, vintage collection, or I don't know. Um, so I basically hung it from one of the Tim Holtz charm hangers and covered it up with some cream seam binding in a bow and then just put a um a recollections flower there and it's it can swing around she could put a picture in there or a little message or maybe a little journaling about whatever photo she puts in there so i hope she likes it um so that's the frame and then i did um two candles to kind of match so i didn't know if she wanted to put them together or not um i hope she likes these too um so I did this small one, and I used seven gypsies tape. Not eight gypsies, seven gypsies. No, it's just seven. And then this is some lace trim from Kim Scrapper that she had sent to me in a rack. Random act of kindness. Yes. And then some more flowers. Those are wild orchid, and these bling, are... Bling, bling, <laughs> bling, bling. Those are bling, the bling. Bling, bling. Oh, my God, I missed those. These are... Um, part of a ribbon flower from Hobby Lobby that I just cut apart. And then, yes, Stephanie, I couldn't go without some bling. Bling, bling. bling, bling. <laughs> so that's the little candle. Now for the big And then candle. this is the taller pillar candle. Oh, it's a pillar candle. <laughs> I think. Excuse me. I put three rows of the Seven Gypsies. Um, it's kind of like tissue tape, I guess. I don't know. I really like it. It's this stuff right here. You probably shouldn't 
burn this candle, should you? No, that would be a word of advice to anybody who uses fabric and paper on their candles. Please don't burn them because there's no guarantee it's only going to burn down the center. I mean, you're going to have wax, and I wouldn't do it. I just wouldn't do it. Why do we say that? Because, because some colleagues of mine tried to burn candles as they were given gifts for them last year. Oh, yeah, I made all these for Mark's work last year. Did they actually try to burn them? Yes, a couple people did. Did they have a problem? They said it didn't work out that well. Oh, my God. I didn't put a disclaimer in there, so here's my disclaimer. So this year, I'm not going to make them candles. I'll make them uh, notepads or something. <laughs> um, yeah, that was bad. So there's some more of that lace trim from Kim Scrapper. And this, um, I don't know where I got this. Some website, I'm sure. Etsy shop, maybe somewhere. And then this was a spray that I got. Um, I think it was from Violet in my... Um, one of my cigar box swaps. And then I just put this little, I think it's a dress it up button. Dress it up! Cut the back off, you know, so it would lay flat. And I used hot glue. Glued on all these flowers that match the frame. And then this is a little Seven Gypsies clip. I had to put a little bit of bling, bling, bling. on there for you. Um, so these are, I think it would look really cute, just like that, sitting somewhere. I don't know. So I hope Stephanie likes it, and Stephanie, uh, this will be coming your way shortly. Um, don't peek at the video. I guess it's kind of late to say that, but uh, hope everyone likes it, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.